first thing you want to do is actually download it. So I have a virtual machine here that doesn't have it downloaded yet. So it's autohotkey.com. Autohotkey.com. Download it. Okay, yeah, run it. Just need to install it, that's all. And once once you do you don't need to uh so you get with most programs you just like where is it? You run this. You you never have to do that for this. I see lots of people like trying that and getting confused. All you have to do is install it so you can support the file. And then wait. Actually, I think you can Yeah, new auto hotkey script. And then I'll make a uh phishing. Phishing so edit the script and you just erase this entirely you don't need any of that I don't know why it does that uh, this is okay so what you want is this is the key the very first thing put two of those so so the the first key is what key you want it to be binded to. I'll add a list of all the keys you can use. So that you can add it to like num pad one or I'll just do this thing next to the one and then mouse move which moves the mouse obviously zero because you don't want it left or right at all for dropping 36 is the exact amount between items with a uh, no no left click option like use left click and then one is the speed I think you can use zero but I just use one and R to make it relative to the current mouse position and then one click what I see lots of people do is they do something like this there's really no need to do that at all it's the exact same if you just put in one line um, all the return does is just make it go back up to here so you can actually uh, if you're afraid of making your mouse spam click when you hold it you can also do something like sleep like five or something I think that's milliseconds return. I don't know if that's the right number because I don't actually use this. And then save that. And then there wait, where can I test this? Paint. Let's see. Wait, what the no oh yeah. See it waits. So it's harder to hold it on the stake. There we go. You have to right click with your mouse. If you want to right click with the keyboard, you can. What you do is. Wait. Yeah. I'll just put it as two just to make it easier. Two. Click right. That's all. That's pretty simple. What other? For. Uh, banking. Where's yeah? What what happened there? 
So, as you can see, all you have to do is just double click this. You don't have to go to here and add it or anything. And then it'll be at the bottom if you want to end it. Right click it and suspend or exit. And if you want to add a pause to it, do something like this. Escape. Uh, what is it? S suspend. Now when you press that, it will notice this. It will go to an S and then you can use the keys again. See? Where is it? Yeah, see. I had all of those keys as and then wait. Escape and then it starts working again. Which is useful if you use uh letters or anything. <coughs> so wait. Make this a rune crafting no nope, whoops. RC So edit what you would want to do for this is like oh I forgot to exit this. I don't know if you can close the script with the key. I I forget what the thing is for it. But pretty sure you can. So it'd be like this. I'll put his click right. I don't use that, but I'll use it for this example. Then mouse move zero zero again because you don't want to move it left or right, only up and down. Seventy, which is about right, not exactly. I haven't looked into it exactly because I don't really care. And then two click. Oh, hell, I'll also add a sleep, just sleep 5. You don't want it to be too high, otherwise, because this makes it so you can't do anything. Like, uh, anything with AHK. So you can't do click right, can't do mouse move again, or click, but since it's, since it's for banking, you only use it once, you can actually set it higher for when crafting. So you could do like sleep. 20, but I just don't. You could also do this. Um, click up. Wait, no. Two. I think it's two up. And then it only happens when you when the key, on key up. So wait, hold down and then. Yeah. See. Uh. So I'm holding two and then when I let go it clicks. That's you could use that, but it's kinda awkward, so I wouldn't. Um so here's an exa this is a this is an example of a script that would be fine since this is basically just swapping keys around on your keyboard and mouse so it's it's actually only switching mouse and keyboard there's no difference it's not macroing it's not anything else just remapping keys so here's an example of one that would get you banned if you just removed all of that and then uh -oh. Relo reload script now wait I think I did something wrong I think that's how it goes so I don't I obviously don't normally cheat so I'm not there that's how that's how it would work if you were to cheat but you obviously don't want to do that you could also do so here's an example of a whoops a script that at a what is it fletching or crafting so any skill that you use uh, two items on each other 
like f fletching bows or stringing bows. It would be like this. Uh, I keep forgetting to exit these. Mouse. Move. Actually, I don't think you have to put that comma. Zero. Seventy. One. R. And two. Well, that's for. So. And then the next is mouse move 65, 1, minus 145, 1, R. That would be to go to X. Uh, you could also just remove that if you don't want to do that. I don't use that. I find it easier just to go to X with my mouse. So, what this does is it goes. Wait. I'll show. So this key would move down 70 to go down to the option. This key would, so you would press right click with your mouse. Then this button, I don't know what that's called. Then right click this button again. And then 1 to go to the thing. So I'll show an example. Okay, so, so you put the items like this, put this 14, and you'd press, click, click, like that, and then you can press the 1, or, actually I have it on 6, oh no, I did something wrong. Well, the number to go to the X would be 70 plus. So any higher than that, so it'd be twenty. So the actual number would be mouse move sixty five minus one twenty five one R instead instead of minus one forty five. Minus one forty five would be if you were to do this and then go to the X. So that would you would use that for room crafting or something. So it'd be like this, wait. Like that. That's how you'd use that script. So that's that's pretty much all there is to it. You can compile the script and then it's a executable file which you could send to someone else and they wouldn't be able to edit it but there's really no point in doing this so like these two do the same thing this this might work if you don't install AHK not sure about that though so that's that's all if you have a question ask away